Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel once again. Uh, we are back with WWE 2K24, my GM mode. We're in Season 3. We're in Week 4. We are on the Go Home Show to Backlash. We got trouble all over the place here, but uh, welcome we do record these after every AEW Dynamite, every uh, AEW Collision over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. So uh, please feel free to stop by, say hi, help us book this live because, well, hell, I need all the help I can get at this point. So when we left off last week, we're still in first place because of the Hall of Fame trophies. That's not a problem. We are 100,000 fans behind right now, almost. So once Raw catches up in terms of trophies, we're screwed. <laughs> Unless I get to work here. So uh, Pierce has just pulled out a veto card, his master veto card. So three random stars got yanked from us. So we're going to shove something back down his throat today. Heyman, we owe him a little bit for what happened last time. We got a PLE to set up for for next week. And a whole lot of craziness here. So let's do a tour. And this is the reminder of this is war card. This is actually the raw card. So. So I, we don't have anything on our journal we have to worry about. So I'm fine with that. Let's check out these challenges here. So we completed that one. 50 one-on-one -on -one matches. That is like the brainless, most brainless one we can do. 600,000 in the bank. We're getting there. Raw's War is a good throwback reference. Absolutely. And of course, he's fighting WCW here. So that makes even more sense. Book 10 triple threat matches. So we booked two already. Use 10 power cards against other. Oh, we're going to get there. And complete 15 commissioner goals. So we got three so far. These shouldn't be that big of a deal to get through for the most part. So we have to book Dragonov this week, who is our least popular specialist. We have very few specialists here. So logistics wise, we do have enough money to bu buy some of these, but I want to save for the new arena. For me, the new arena is going to be the biggest thing for us. And then from there, we will get the rest of the stuff. Because an extra 10,000 people and an extra, what, 50 cents a ticket? So it's 10,000, that's $5,000 more. And an extra 10,000 people, so. But yeah, if you look at the roster, we have Alba Fire, our new women's champion, out due to Vito. We got Nikita Lyons, who's out due to Vito. Boston Cotter, well, we just dodged a bullet and had him there. And Theory's out this week due to uh, losing his No Holds Barred match that he requested. So what I'm probably going to do is get Gargano to uh, throw out a promo just calling out Theory after losing, which probably makes the most sense here. So let me do that right now before I forget. Gargano calling out Theory. Get that feud going here a little bit. All right, so. Trudy Baszler, I want to get her feud with uh, Fire Dud first. So we're going to do that call out as well. We, If I could get her... The thing is, I, we already have this as a rivalry. Because as you see here... Where's my uh, GM assistant? Here we go. Rivalries. We got Dijak and Lorenzo are two, level two. The tag feud is level one. Theory of Gargano is level one. And Alba and Fi uh, Baszler and Fire are level one. 
I'd like to build that up. I'd like to uh, pay that off. And then we can, uh, then we can turn Baszler. If we got a feud, let's not lose it, right? So we got those two promos call out. We do need to get Dragon off in a match here tonight. Who do we want Dragon off to face? He can face anybody who's a face. You know what? Let's see if we get, let's go crazy. We'll put Darius Butler in there. We're not going to make this the main event. Don't worry. We're going to move things around. We're probably going to have to hire some talent this week due to, uh, due to, hey, uh, four of our talents not being available this week. And I want this feud to go. So let's see if we can actually get it to run. The other feud I want to get going, if I can. Like, it's going to be hard to try to push these feuds up to where we need to here. Wait a second. Oh, no, I can't use her for that. They said they can't book him for a match, can't book him for anything, so. Sammy's always good for a charity promo. I'll just leave that there. Who do we got left? Really? Let's see who we, we, we could do, we could do uh, stacks and, uh, or we could do, uh, yeah, the stacks and die jacks, the only pair that are left. Let's see who we got left for talent scouts here. All the old veterans are here. Christina Fury, Vicky McLeod. Do we need to find somebody? That's the question right now. This one here, I'll pr cause I wanna do everything in a different mode here. So we'll do a triple threat. Give Cora something to do. And literally these two are the only two that are left. So we're gonna go at it one more time here. This could be like, so the thing is I don't wanna put a, put a title on any one of these guys cause I want this to be my main event of the show. The paper, the PLE, by the way. You know what? Let's do this. Because it, it does book a little bit. It is a little bit more. Uh, it gives a little bit more to it. Is there any stipulation we could do? Well, Steel Cage is the only one they can do. That'll get them anything decent. I'm looking at these ones and trying to find one where the stamina is not as...
think we do an extreme rules here. Everybody's got pretty much. Yeah, let's do that. Extreme rules there. Last man standing there. We'll put this one down here. Got a rivalry there. We don't have a rivalry here, but we could want to see if we get a rivalry out of this. Got two call out promos basically to cover the people that are off right now. I think we booked it about as well as we're going to here. Power cards. How many health spa ones do I have already? Hell spa one. I got one. See, I would grab this injury health injury rehab one. It would bring it down. You know what? I'm gonna grab it, but I'm not gonna use it because theory's only out for one week. And actually, I'll cut. I'll get the spa too because that's actually a little important. All right, beginner's luck three. Oh no, we're not putting Boston Cotter up 15. He's got it two weeks, I could care less. And we will use this on Thea, our two of the moon card. I just want to get that popularity up, up and up so we can make, she's my pet project, like I said. All right. So for next week, who do I give my double cost to of the show? Do I give it to Heyman? Who is going to screw me next week? I know that already. Because I know with Pierce, I'm going to use that bad publicity card because that's going to be 10% of his fans are coming to me. Which right now, with the fact that he's getting like 40,000 fans, that's an extra 4,000 for us. Which ain't a whole lot, so I want to save it for a little while. I'm thinking we give it to Heyman because he's going to want to book some extreme shows on that PLE. And if he does that, then he's going to get bonuses, more bonuses than Raw will, so... I think that might actually be the best way to do it for us here. So, yeah, I think we're going to do it that way here. Bingo. Time to screw your neighbor a little bit. So we got this one here that we're definitely going to use. We're going to use before APLE, but I just, it all depends on which one. That everything else is just oh we could get that but i'm not really big on burning contracts a whole lot so i think we got the card exactly where we need it here last man standing match main event's a triple threat this one's gonna be dog crap this one should be pretty good it might get us a rivalry here and then this one here, I hope we get Jody and Thea in a rivalry if we don't get Thea and Cora in a rivalry. I don't think we'll get Jody and Cora because they're two heels, but yeah, I think we're, I think this is where we're going to go with this. Let's pull this. Let's do it this way. We can't use Theory this week. We can't use Fire, so this actually makes sense to put up the feuds that way, so let's see if we can do this here, so all the world hates a coward. Let's do her to her. Now we get to see what everybody else has done in terms of booking. So for ECW, Tornado Tag. Living Candace versus Raw Dead Piper. Four stars, of course. All the women's matches get a boost on their card because they don't get a title. Put himself over the promo, okay. Big card. 
Indian Tiffy once again. Tiffy wins in a two-star match. Everybody hates it. I love it. The New Day taking on The Miz and Ivar in a non-title contest. Miz and Ivar in a three and a half. Then our main event for the world title, Julius Creed once again challenging Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake retains again. Another four-star freaking match with those two. All right, WCW. We got Booker T, Drew McIntyre, David Kemp, and a triple threat. And Booker T and McIntyre in a rivalry over one of the titles that Book has. One, two, that's it. Bring the bell. Booker T wins. Increase every, of course he's increasing every rivalry. Ty Schmidt, another one off the uh, McAfee show. Gets 3,000. Sheamus versus Raids is, well, that's a rivalry we've seen for a while. Yeah, that was only going to be a two-star because it's two bruisers. Precious Silver, good for two. All right, good job putting yourself over. Hockey Talk Man and Stardust. Take it on Adrian Buck and Tommaso Ciampa. It'd be nice to see the tag champs actually work together. Two and a half star match. Horrible promo, but the rivalry still grows. I don't know. I don't get it. And our main event here, Omos versus Guerrero. One, two, Omos getting some rub here. Guerrero wins. Another rivalry to three. Okay, for Raw, R-Truth and LA Knight versus Priest and Breaker once again. R-Truth LA Knight in a four and a half star classic. No advancement of the promo or a, of the rivalry. I like this. Isla Dodd, Gigi Dolan. They're getting good star rings, but they're not getting advancements. Bailey only gets herself over three. Ridge Holland and Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke and a four star. Uh oh. That better be the greatest match at all time. Oh, Chad, you didn't get stuff over. And your main event has Bianca and Molly. Four star as well. Damn it. All right. All right. So our card here. Stax and DiJack are working their way towards the world title match at uh, Backlash. So therefore, they want to see who's the last one standing. That's how we're going to do it here right now. I'm also trying to find the matches that have the least amount of stamina being used. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Yeah, we don't have any titles on the line quite yet. We just have the women's title handed out. Uh, we are going to have a night of champions at Backlash. We are going to crown some champions so we get some stuff moving. I would have liked to set up sort of a tournament to determine who's the first champion, but But yeah, what once we get a champion crowd for both the man, the intercontinental 
and the tag divisions we're going to be able to start pushing ahead here and we'll be booking some more arenas that are a little more favorable Stax just looks ready. These two know each other so well. They got all the talk going here. So this is the last man standing match. It, the, if you can hold your opponent down for a 10 count where they can't get up. Then you win. Yeah, they're not fooling around. They're going outside right away here. I would think. Nice forearm there. Stax just, once again, Stax taking control. That's one thing we've noticed as we've gone through these. Is that Stax is the one usually controlling the game or controlling the match for the most part. But it just seems Dijak manages to win right at the end. Oh, God. Well, and I did forget we are going to get a couple uh, we have a couple contracts coming up at the end of week six so got to be careful here ref you're going to start counting no never mind now you can count never mind stacks no selling Nice choke throw there. Nice hard clothesline. Dijak. Oh. Murphy got his count going. All right, well. Stacks up at seven. Release belly to belly throw. Back up at eight. He's getting closer, but. Nice European uppercut here. Forearm to the back of the head.
Stacks working on the legs, which is actually very smart at this point. Uppercuts in the back of the head. Stax has got to do something to keep the big man down here. He's going to have to hit something big. Looks we'll like he's going to find something big to hit him with. Kendo stick, always a good choice. It's quick, it's efficient. Oh, and here it comes. Knee to the back of the head. Referee start counting. No. Nope. Yep. No. Nope. I thought Stax was not gonna was gonna let him stay down, but is a Kendall stick gonna do it here? Could be enough here. Eight. Oh, just an eight. Stacks being a horrible aim with that kendo stick there. Oh, wheel kick to the back of the neck. From the neck, sorry. Even before he tried to get up, he just said, nope. Oh, a deep eight there. Stax gets out of the way. Uh-oh. Snake eyes in the corner. Stacks back up. Short little jab. Come off the ropes. Mafia boot right to the square of the face. Yeah, that wasn't going to be near enough. Oh, and here it is. Knee to the back of the head. Good old fashioned curb stomp. Six, seven. We gonna get him this? Oh my God. Nine. That ref was a little suspect in that count there at the end. These guys are so close. Oh, Dijak wants some more. I just try to kick his chest in. Boot to the face, that's gonna do it. Dijak not give it up? Oh, there we go, now, nah, oh. That's gonna go for the feast your eyes. Was well, gonna go for the finisher, but just yeah, that's just face of the good old boot. Only an eight count. Stacks gets back up. Get blocked here. Oh, there we go. Uh oh, Stax is bleeding now. Last week it was Dijak with a little blood on his face. Oh no, this is gonna do it. 
Sit out choke slam. Feast your eyes on this 10 count because this has got to do it. Dijak, what are you doing? The more times you do something, the more chance he's going to get up. There's no way. There it is. Dijak wins. So now it's 2-1 Dijak, I do believe. Here is your winner, Dijak. So this is going to be a ton of momentum. This is going to be a huge ego boost going into Backlash next week. Three and a half rivalry to level three. God love it. Did its job. Now let's see if any of these other ones do it. Call a promo. Did its job. Ilya Dragunov versus Darius Butler. This one I just face heel let's see maybe we get a good match out of this i'm not expecting much we had to get Ilya in a match tonight because for the power card i wasn't even sure what power card oh it's three death and die jack uh stacks might come up and say he needs a win against somebody else next i'm gonna have to say no to him Just because we got the title match coming up at Backlash. So yeah, if we got... The other thing about this is if it, if a rivalry is at a level three, you could still end it at a PLE. It just doesn't give you the same payoff as a level four, right? So. So as long as we get these feuds up to the level threes that we need, they'll still be good to, you know, bookcase your card, finish it off whatever way you need to. We'll use the steel cage to bounce up some extra viewers. And once again, as long as I can get enough money to save up for the, uh, for the stadium for week six, it's going to be a tight, tight week for that week six in terms of talent. But I think that stadium is most important for us. And his opponent from Florida, weighing in at 190 pounds, Darius Butler. I, I just love the fact that his arch rival, Connor Boston, was not available tonight. Just because of that Raw's war card. I love this crowd. Such a positive atmosphere for everybody. But I expect uh, Dragunov to mop the floor with him for the most part. I want, I'm not looking for much in terms of a score on this one. But if Butler wins and get a rival get a rivalry out of it, 
Maybe we do the IC title with Dragunov and Butler. And then if I have to re-side Butler for another five weeks, so be it. Because I can't see the, the cheapest guys costing that much. Is Butler bleeding already? That's insane. He's bleeding and the match just barely started. So, Mox is his idol. <laughs> Give me that. Oh my God. No way. A two count this early? Butler with the leg drop. This is nuts. Spit around Uridagi, okay. The old Big Show alley oop. Dreyo's like, no, 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 no. If you're gonna hit me, hit me with a dive. If not, get your ass big in here. How is Butler dominating this? Nice. Elbow to the back of the head. This is getting better than eight. It's better than anything we could even expect it to be. Little Jeff Hardy drop there. Uh-oh. I think Ilya's had enough. You're an Augie. Get back in the corner. Let's go. You got your finisher charge. You might as well use it. There it is. Short DDT. Into the cover. Two and a half. I thought that was going to be it. Excuse me, chat. Sorry about that. Near the back of the head by Butler. Oh my good. Oh God. Dragon, I've just said, no, 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 no. We're, you're not playing with my leg. I'm sending you over the top. Watch it be a double count out just for the hell of it. I'm basically playing our house buddy here. I, I just don't want this to be anything above a three. As long as it's like a good three star match. Thank you. 
Nice. I love that move. I hate how he faked right out of it. Oh, God. Hangman's. Oh, God. Here we go. Just a two count. I thought we we're going to get an upset in the making here. And of course, what anything you could do, I could do better. Anything you could do better than you. Nice DDT. All right, Butler, see if you can see if you can pull off the upset upsets here. You do this, you earn yourself an IC title shot to, at Backlash. Going up to the top. Oh, Mr. Frog Splash. He might have won this anyway. Won the title shot at least. If he keeps going like this. Boot to the face. Big for big flag super bad punch there. He's going to be dumb enough to get counted out, isn't he? Nope. But he walks right into a Torpedo Moscow. He was dumb enough to walk into a Torpedo Moscow coming into the ring. Got got. Got, got, got caught. Two st Ilya's not getting a feud with anybody. Like, seriously, go find some enemies. Oh, they did get one. All right. We got a rivalry, so we'll get the title shot going. 5250. All right. That's the, one of the better ones I've seen. All right. We're just desperate to get something for Ivy here. I really don't want to trade her. Because, you know, if she's not... If we're not getting rivalries, we can't use her, right? So I thought good old JC Jade. Because I think we're going to have to flip Jade face if we flip uh, Baszler heel, right? So I'll have to see how the matchups work. And we're going to have to do a couple... Do I have to do two flips, not just one? But yeah, let's uh, check this out. See if we can get another rivalry going. Basically, I want to just get enough rivalries going that we can just, you know, not worry about it if uh, anybody gets vetoed out for a day. I expect these last two matches to do pretty well. I'm a little worried about the the star status of both these, but but the fact that I threw the extreme rules uh, stipulation on the uh, on the main event here, we should be okay. Like, basically, if we get any new rivalries right here, these are the ones that we're going to sell up in week 10.
but I, I find it so weird like we had such a great rivalry between Cora and Ivy finishing off season two and we just can't find anything for her in season three her and Ilya like seriously it almost makes me feel like I should be you know when these trades come up I might actually have to take a couple or take some serious consideration to a few I do know on this first set of trades you're gonna try and screw me out of enough money that I can't buy the stadium right so I gotta be very wary of that But Ivy here just looking to get back on the right track. If she can get a rivalry and start establishing some uh, wins. Well, she can establish the wins, but she needs the rivalry. If she gets the rivalries going, we definitely should be able to uh, get her back in the title picture. But as we know... When it comes to wrestling, it's not about just getting wins. It's about drawing money. And if you're not creating a rivalry, you're not drawing money for me. Here we go. Just a one count. Yeah, I didn't think Jade would get pit that quickly. Shots to the bat. Oh, now I gotta do the push-ups. Ivy might be the one we turn heel. Ivy is a heel. Actually, isn't the worst thought in the world. just to keep the balance here between face and heel, right? So. And right now, the way she's working with Gable and the Creeds, it's actually a pretty good spot for her. Collision detection at its finest. Side rush leg sweep into those fists. Make it a count out. Nope. Referee tried to block the way, but I love a good crooked ref. Into the corner. Oh, missed the wheel kick as Jade just gets out of the way. Oh, still a finisher. I love a steal a finisher move they got. They stole that. They they added that in here. I do believe once uh, AEW added it for Fight Forever. Because I haven't. I didn't see it in twenty three. Oh my god, Cyclone kick, that should be it. And Jade gets the victory over Ivy Nile. And Ivy just ducks out of the rig. Here is your winner, Jade. 
Ivy after losing the title loses to JC Jade. What's going to happen to Ivy right now? She got to be feeling down the dumps on this one. Two star, I kind of sort of... I kind of sort of predicted that with the fact there's no stipulation on this match. Rivalry? We got a rivalry! The match sucked, but I can always fix that. Rivalry up to level two, so we got that going. Now our main event, like I said, extreme rules. Get Cora Jade in there for a little bit extra help. Jody Garcia, Thea Hale, I love to see them getting a rivalry. If it ends up being Thea Hale and Cora Jade, it's not the best, but still not, still not horrible. But let's see if these ladies can, can show up and show off as uh, one mighty Dolph Ziggler would say. Nick Nebeth would never say that, but Dolph would. So I know that a regular triple threat match is usually under the same rules, but it doesn't give you the boost if you don't announce it. Literally, I'm just hoping to get two and a half stars out of this. So full of pep. Let's go. Let's go. So once again, as this is our main event, I just want to say thank you to everybody for stopping by here. Please, if you haven't hit the uh, thumbs up on the uh, on the old YouTube channel, please do so. And uh, hit the subscribe button. All the likes that we get on this do help out with the uh, with the old algorithm. And yeah, next week's show will be our Backlash PLE. I think our main event, unless anything crazy happens here at the end of this, is going to be uh, Dijak versus Stax Lorenzo for the World Heavyweight Championship. With Cora on such a winning streak like she's been, like I think the only uh, the only loss she had was to Thea here in this triple threat. The triple threat last week with Nikita and uh, Thea might almost be an opportunity to move Cora face, maybe. Might not be the easiest transition in the world, but might not be the hardest either. But I do want to get through this PLE cycle before we uh, decide to flip anybody one way or the other. You just go to work. And Jody spent a lot of the time of her Brett with herself over on uh, SmackDown. Or no, sorry, not on SmackDown, on ECW. 
and she was doing a lot of pro ball work so they ended up not bringing her back and we managed to pick her up in week one as i was looking for an opponent for thea i really am hoping we do get a rivalry here i would love to get jody and thea into some more matches just by themselves But without a rivalry, their popularity just isn't there for me. Ooh. Jody just run a rough shot here. Oh god. Nice hip toss takeover. Drop the bottom out, drop the elbow. Cora just said no we ain't deal with this and just drew a chair right in the middle right square in the middle of Jody's head now Cora's Cora's decided to take charge which I sort of saw coming cover uh oh we got ladders now they said it was going to be extreme and you don't you can't spell extreme without l-a-d-d-e-r or maybe you can, but I wouldn't I wouldn't like to be in a world where you can. Scoop power slab, absolutely a beauty there. Oh no. Oh, right in the third buckle. I thought she was gonna dump her on that ladder. In the third buckle oh, and Cora just said enough of that. Off the ropes. Nice Japanese arm drag there. Trying to chop the big redwood, big redwood down. Look at that double team. Perpetual enemies turned out to be, oh, that lasted all of five seconds. Let's get collar double tie up. Drop kick in the corner. This is the problem with a triple threat match. You just really can't get that separation at times. Jody with a pig, Cora a little out of it. Oh, never mind. She's definitely back into it here. And see a good looking to pick the bones a little bit. Hot shot on that top row. Oh god. That chair went fly. Look for the cover. Steel oh, I thought Theo was gonna steal another one. Just like last week. But she got the pit over her own tag team partner. Quick roll up with the up kick. Drop kick back of the deck. Not gonna go for the cover though. Decides to lay out some more punishment. What do we got coming? Oh, we got a table. We have now got the official TLC requirements here. Jody looked for a drop kick, but Thea said, nah, I'm busy. Literally, because that should have hit her. Oh, no. Reversal by hail. Beautiful Hura Karana. Sweet neck breaker on Jade.
Garcia looking to take advantage of that chair in the corner. Wait for Cora to get back up and she won't go. Uh oh. Explode her into the corner. Cora looking to pick things up. Oh god. SCO takeover on the table. Looks like Cora's setting up. Flips over. In the Kimura, still the finisher again. And Jody will have none of that because she don't want to. She don't want to end this way. Double arm DDT. Who's she gonna cover? Oh, there we go. Cora J with a cover. Two point two four five. Not quite two and a half, but more than two. Uh, see, you might not want to be dancing around with that sledgehammer hanging around. Hair bulldog there. Reversal, reversal, reversal. Into the ropes. Under and over. And our Japanese arm drag right on the table. As Jody's setting up another table on the outside. This is a little bit insane. As Thea says hello to the chair, to both ladies. Let's get up close and personal with your cranium. Oh, went for that Sinton splash, and just nobody there. Garcia going up. Power bomb. And the cover. Garcia could win this. No, just a one count. Cora get Cora gets in a little bit late to make the save, but. Oh, just a good old fashioned bomb right there. Garcia insisting on having that uh, chair in between the ropes. I don't know how successful it's going to be. Attacking legs, legs of Cora Jade. Oh, God. Onto the tape, onto the ladder. Is Tia going to steal another one? No, just a two. Swinging deck breaker once again by Thea. Thea go for the cover. And Jade's having none of it. Referee in the way, so unfortunately, I think the plans that Cora had just were not going to happen there. Oh, we got a trash can. And we got a fly clothesline from the top. Garcia is ready. What a main event here, folks. I thought adding Cora to this would make it a little bit extra star power. It definitely has worked. This crowd's absolutely loving this. Uh oh, going up. Ghostly power bomb, but Thea right there to break this up. She wants this win. She got the win last week in a triple threat. Now she wants this one. Oh God. Garcia the outside, Thea ready. The look on Thea's face says it all. Dive to the outside. I hate those cutscenes because then the triple threat just doesn't work. This crowd's got a this is awesome chat. Gotta love it. I love this for a main event tonight. 
Oh, quick cover. One. Garcia caught on the other side, show showboating. And Sia working frantically here to try to get something to get. Oh, there it is. Locking in that Kimura. There it is. Locked in. Gonna get the tap here. Oh, nope. Garcia gets out of it. I don't think Cora would have made the save. Oh, God. Not now for sure. Cover. And Thea Hale continues her winning ways here on SmackDown. Here is your winner, Thea Hale. Season three might be all about Thea. My goodness, this is... Oh, the crowd just goes down. That was pretty damn awesome. And the fact that I gave that... There we go, three and a half. We got a good card out of this. Did we get a rivalry though? No rivalry. All right, Thea, we're gonna have to work on that for you. We gotta get Thea some matches here that are gonna turn out well, but let's go check out the report cards. SmackDown, good booking. Level three feud, level two feud. Level one, level one, level two, nothing. Ugh. Of course, amazing booking once again. Level four, level four, level four, level four, level four. It's raw. What do you expect? Ugh. Good booking. Two, two, three. Three. All right, so they're lined up for the PLE. Level three, level two, level three, level two. So they're lined up for the PLE as well. So let's see how the uh, report or the final reports come out. ECW got a 121, 42,000. And 620 in the bank. They went from nothing to everything in a hurry. Where'd they get their extra money out of? Arena crowd, 20 bucks. They're still cheap. Other revenue, gross revenue. They got a tremendous amount of money out of that. I got, they got some kind of secret donor. 29,000 for their fans, 106 for their card. They have almost no money. That's always great to see. Raw got a 126 as always, 48,000. Uh, we're going to have to pretty much book a perfect season to catch up to them. One ten, so not bad. 33,000, so not horrible. We're up to 515, which is okay. We're going to have to make a push here at the uh, PLE. But I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal, to be honest with you. All right, let's see what bonuses we get now. I know I got, so we got 10 talent scout points, so we can pick up, uh, we have enough scouting points to get a legendary star if we wanted. So we're still in first place. However, we are now 110,000 behind. The next one closest to us is WCW, which is 30,000 behind us. But we're 110,000 behind Raw. So we are got we got some work to do. We're ahead because of the Hall of Fame trophies. But let's face it, if I don't get those Hall of Fame trophies in order, we going to be a little bit of trouble here. But yeah, uh, we got some work to do. But I think once we start getting some more of these brands up and... The cards are not bad. Like, we got some decent cards. It's just Raw's getting these knock them out of the park matches every single freaking time. But with that being said, let's get, let's forward up to what we're going to see coming up here on our next episode. 
as the game will not save here and uh we'd like to continue on to let's let's see what our progress is going to be going into the ple next week and see if my hunch is right about that damn power card backlash week five called it so the only person that can't play is alba fire which we will deal with Block all opponents from using three randomly selected champions. When you only have one champion, they can only block one. <laughs> uh, with all due respect, I'm doing this to myself right now. <laughs> We're letting him play out. All right, let's see what the ad results came in as. Negative 3,000. You know what? We lost 3,000 because of the ad campaign. Do we want to give it one more week? Because sometimes when these go down one week, they jump up the next. Or do we want to just cancel it right now? I feel we should stick it out just because we are going to get the boost from the uh, from the arena as well as uh, we're going to uh, You know what? I think we're going to take the challenge here because if it goes up next week, if we get two we if we get two weeks of it going down, maybe we'll say no, but All right. Triple H. So it's come out. You can't use Alba Fire take it part in the show this week. How about that? Huh. And Haven. God, do we, I'll get my paybacks one of these days. Absolutely. I don't know if it registered mine or not. So, have at least one tornado tag match. All right, we can do that. Uh, we are going to, I'm just going to do this right now so we don't even have to think about it next time. So, we are boosted with the Backlash PLE here. So, we got 25,000 of the crowd, extra ticket price. And I forget which match is the bonus here. So I'm just going to take a look as we go. So Extreme Rules match. We are going to have an Extreme Rules match on the card. So we get the branded PLE bonus. And in terms of extras, everything still is available, but we still are taking it because we are looking for our big home run here in terms of... Uh, Let's just see in terms of a roster here. We're actually in stamina wise. Nobody's really down except for Darius. But we got some decent rivalries going here. We got a the level two we can't use. We got a level two we can use here. Our main event is going to be stacks and uh, die jack. That's going to be obvious. The opening match, we're going to have to. We're going to have to play by year to see how we could do this here. Be we'll probably do Theory and Gargano as our opener. Just because it is our only level 2 rivalry that's available right now. Probably do the... Well, and then uh, Gargano and Theory will be for the IC title. We'll leave that off, drag it off for now. We'll... Uh, We'll let this feud go for the IC title and let it go from there. Dijak and Stax will be for the heavyweight title. And then for the women's tag titles, I think we're going to go... Cora Jody versus Nikita and Thea. That actually is... 
That's already a level one. We'll use that as our tag match in there for the women's tag. We'll figure something out for the men's tag. We'll figure the rest card out as we go along here, but let's bring it back up here to a chat screen. I'm going to snooze the ads here on Twitch because we're just going to be wrapping up here in a few minutes anyway. Uh, for those on Twitch, please hang on. We are going to wrap things up here in a sec. But uh, for you on YouTube, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you hit the uh, uh, subscribe and hit the bell notifications for uh, letting us know what's going on. Zodiac, always a pleasure having you here. I know this is an extra late night for you because we were running a little late this week. Uh, get some sleep. We will see you here, well, probably Saturday for the PLE. Uh, for those here on YouTube, thank you for stopping by here. Always appreciate you. And always remember, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.